Hello and welcome to the subcontractor billing tutorial for Target Building. This video will walk you through the invoicing and billing processes that we use on Procore. First, you will receive a Procore invitation in your email. Upon accepting this invitation, you will be redirected to the Procore website. If you do not already have an account, you will be prompted to create one. If you already have an account, you will log in. Once logged in, you will be able to view the project page where you can see general information about the project. You will also be able to view other projects by clicking the project drop-down menu. Under the project tools drop-down, you will be able to access core, project management, and financial tools. Eventually, you will receive a Procore email prompting you to break down your schedule of values. Upon clicking go to Procore and logging in, you will be taken to a page where you will edit your SOVs. To add a line, click Add Line. You can then type the description and the scheduled amount for that line item. Make sure the total of all line items exactly matches the commitment amount, or else you will not be able to proceed to the next step. If you would like, you can hit Save as Draft and come back later to edit any line items before submitting your SOV for approval. To edit, click Edit SOV and make any necessary changes. Once your SOVs are ready to submit, click Edit and scroll down to the bottom and hit Submit for Review. Then hit Submit. Make sure your SOVs are correct before doing this, as this step cannot be undone. Once submitted, your SOVs will show a status of under review, and once they are approved, will show as approved. Once a billing period has opened up, you will receive a Procore email inviting you to bill for this period. If you have nothing to bill, simply click No. If you have something to bill, click Yes, log in, and you will be taken to a new invoice page. This will show you details about the billing period and, importantly, when this invoice is due. First, enter your invoice number. Then, for each line item, enter any work completed that you would like to bill for. Subtotal and retainage amounts will automatically populate below. At the bottom of the page, you will see a field where you can attach a file. You do not want to attach anything at this point. You instead want to click Save as Draft. This will allow you to then export your AIA to a PDF. Simply click Export, then PDF. Once your AIA has generated, you can print it out to sign and notarize. Once you have your executed AIA, you can go back into the invoice. Click Edit, scroll down, and attach your AIA by clicking Attach, selecting the file, and hitting Attach. Once you are ready to submit, Hit Send to send your invoice to the PM for review. In some cases, a lien waiver might be required. If this is the case, you will not be able to save your invoice draft until a lien waiver is uploaded. All previous steps for entering invoice amounts will be the same until you get to the Attachment section. Here you will upload a signed lien waiver, hit Save as Draft, then export your AIA to a PDF. Then you can print, sign, and notarize, and once you have your executed AIA, hit Edit Invoice, scroll down to attach your executed AIA, and then send your invoice to the PM for approval. If you would like to bill for retainage, there are two ways to do so. As you can see for this invoice, I've already billed 100% on this job on a previous invoice. You can see here the amount of retainage currently being held as of the most recent invoice. To bill for retainage manually, enter the amount of retainage that you're releasing for each line item in the total retainage release column. You can see that this invoice has released $502, or 100% of the retainage that was being held. The second way to bill retainage is to reduce multiple line items at once. To do this, check the box for the line items that you will be billing retainage. Then select Edit Values, which will generate a box on the right side of your invoicing screen. In the box for retainage release, type the percentage of the total retainage held that you would like to release. 
For example, if I wanted to release all retainage, I would enter 100%. Then once you click apply, the retainage released will be automatically entered. If you wanted to reduce from 10 to 5% retainage, you would enter 50%. If you wanted to reduce from 10 to 2.5% retainage, you would enter 75% to enter to release 75% of the total amount of retainage currently held. If you would like to verify that your calculations are correct, simply look at the total retainage release column and compare that to the total retainage column. Once you have billed your desired amount of retainage, you would submit this just like any other invoice, attaching your executed AIA and, if necessary, your executed lien waiver.